meditation time. I'm, I'm pumped up for this one today. Or a, a little more pumped than usual. So don't get thrown off by this music that's about to come on rocking y'all right now. Invite and share, invite and share. It's gonna be good. I've been waiting too. I've been waiting too. We serve a mighty God. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24, verse 32. Welcome first time and you're gonna be blessed. Invite and share. Don't be thrown off. We, we, we bold with this trust in the Lord today. Come on. Hallelujah. Invite and share. Invite and share. Trust in chariots. Trust in horses. Trust in the name of our God. Like Abraham, Joshua, would be Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're about to meditate. We're about to meditate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. We're going to trust in God. Hallelujah. Turn that down. Hallelujah. I am pumped up, you all. Hallelujah. I'm pumped up for the word of God. Jesus is all of that. For real. Luke 24 verse 32 is what we're going to be meditating on. We're going to we're going to taste some more of that today. Um, at least this afternoon. Um, hi, hey, hello, everybody. For those of you all that are first timers, what we do on this scope is we meditate on the word of God. Um, but we do it to music. So that's why we call it a soap scope, you know, because we're basically soaking with the music uh, while we're meditating on the word of God. You know, while we're, while we're listening to the word, you know, allowing the word to talk to us, allowing the word to be written on the table of our heart. So Luke 24 verse 32 is what we're going to meditate on today. All right. And that scripture says, and they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us while he he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures now we focused already on our heart burning within us we focused on opening the scriptures now we're going to focus today on while he talked with us by the way while he talked with us by the way that's what we're going to meditate on okay now, for those of you all that, that are familiar, meditation, the word Haggah in Joshua 1 verse 8, it means to mutter, it means to imagine, and it means to ponder. So what we're going to do on this scope is we are going to mutter, meaning we're going to say the word over and over, allowing it to be written on the table of our hearts. And as we're muttering it, we're going to ponder. So we're going to ponder the word as we say it. And we're also going to use our imagination as well. Amen. So it's a very intimate thing we do on here. We encounter the presence of the Lord through the meditation. And the difference with this in Eastern Indian meditation is Eastern Indian meditation. They empty their mind. We don't do that. We ponder on it. We allow the weight of the word to sit on our heart and connect with the author as we talk to him through the word. All right. So let's begin to meditate. I got something that's a little more. Um, it's a little different for what we usually meditate to. OK, so we're going to start the repeating part, the muttering process. He talked with us. By the way, but we're going to change the us to me, okay? He talked with me. By the way, he talked with me. By the way, and let's change that he to you. All right, let's make it real personal now. Jesus, you talk with me. By the way. Jesus, you talk with me, by the way. Jesus, you talk with me, by the way. Uh, Jesus, you talk with me, 
by the way. Jesus, you talk with me by the way. Jesus, you talk with me by the way. Jesus, you talk with me. You talk with me. You talk with me. I want you to begin to ponder that, you all. Ponder that. Jesus, you talk with me. Now let's begin to flip that. Begin to say, talk with me, Jesus. Talk with me, Jesus. Hey, hello. Talk with me, Jesus. Talk with me, Jesus. Talk with me, by the way. Mm. Now you all, with that by the way, I want to add something. I'm um, not adding anything to the word, but let's go deeper into the by the way. All right? Because this was a place where they were standing at. They were at a particular, they were on a road. All right? And so Jesus talked to them while they were on their road. So we want to begin to ask Jesus to talk with us along the road that we are on. What road are, are you on right now? Okay? Um, Jesus, talk to me um, at my job. You know, maybe your way may be a decision. Let's ask the Lord to talk to, talk to us by that way. Okay? So Jesus, talk to me at my job and about my job. Jesus, talk to me hmm. when I'm writing my songs. Jesus, talk to me when I'm making my decisions. Jesus, talk to me when I'm pondering and thinking. Jesus, talk to me when I am praising you and worshiping you. Jesus, talk to me when I am on the road to recovery. Yeah, that's good. Jesus, talk to me in the night seasons. Okay, I will. Jesus, hallelujah, talk to me hmm. when I need to make a decision. Yeah. Jesus, talk to me about uh, what's going on in my, my different relationships. Jesus, talk to me. Mm. Lord, you told me you had given me a word to be still and know that you are God. Jesus, talk to me as I'm walking that road. Mm. Some of us are, are walking the road of maybe you just got a prophetic word and you're trying to walk that word out. Ask Jesus to talk to you by the way of that word. OK, so Jesus, talk to us by the way of that prophetic word. Hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus, talk with me. Speak to me. Let's begin to release revelation on what talking can mean now, okay? So instead of talking, what are some different words for talking now? Let's begin to say that, say, uh, say those different words. Jesus, speak to me. Hmm. Jesus, communicate with me. Jesus, commune with me. Mm. Jesus, could you explain yourself to me because I don't understand? Jesus, could you unction me? Would you teach me and lead me? Mm. Jesus, would you release revelation to me? Jesus, would you share with me along the way? Ah, uh, share with me, Lord. Jesus, would you guide me? Yeah, that's good. Jesus, guide me. Jesus, would you give me wisdom? Yes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, would you open my eyes to see the path? Hey, for Pakistan, we're meditating on the word right now. Jesus, would you direct me? We're meditating on Luke 24, verse 32. Jesus, would you watch over me? Jesus, will you make it clear for me, by the way? Jesus, would you give me insight, by the way? 
Mm. Just allow this word to humble you right now. Let's just humble ourselves to this word. Jesus, will you warn me? Mm. Hallelujah. Now I want us to, Jesus, will you order my steps? Mm. Jesus, would you strengthen me? Hallelujah. Would you protect me? Let's let's release. I want I want to let's go past the protecting and the strengthening. Even though I look, I need those too. But I want us to release the revelation on something that would come out of his mouth. Okay? The talking aspect. I want to get more intimate with the talking and the voice. Jesus, will you speak to me in a way that I will hear you? Hallelujah. Jesus, may I hear your voice. Jesus, may I become intimately acquainted with your voice. Ah, Jesus, will you breathe on me? Jesus, will you help me discern your voice? Ah, yes, yes. Jesus, will you reveal yourself to me? Jesus, will you reveal your secrets to me? Jesus, will you vibe with me? Jesus, will you rap with me? Hmm. Jesus, can we hook up and, and talk together? Hallelujah. Jesus, would you speak life to me? Hmm. Now, what I want us to do right now, you all, is I want us to begin to quiet ourselves and begin to let the words speak. Okay? As you're pondering these words, I want us to just be quiet, to quiet ourselves and allow the Lord to speak right now, okay? Some of us might see pictures, some of us might hear words. Some of us might hear a sound. Maybe you might smell something, feel something. Allow the Lord to talk to you right now. We're going to be quiet for a second and just let him speak. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you all, uh, are people hearing out there? Are we hearing? I know some people are hearing. Oh, wow. Praise God. Calm water, huh? Wow, that's good. Mm. Yeah, you might hear one word, but that one word is, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, I've been hearing that be still and know that I'm God for like <laughs> for a few days now. Oh, wow, you got a song, huh? Praise God. Praise God. That's good. That's good. Don't second guess it. Well, let me ask you, why, why are you second guessing? Does it align with his word? Now, I wanted to do something right now. 
Amen. I understand. I understand. I, man, you know, I received the word. I received the word uh, two days ago from him that made me fearful. You know what? But but man, you gotta ask him to overcome that fear. You know what I'm saying? Or fear tried to rise up to make me try to step away from the word. But now forget that. I'm going forward in it. Um, I wanted to look up, and maybe this will help. But I still feel like there's some more for that heartburn part. You know, like it's something in me that just can't shift from that just yet. And it says, did not our heart burn within us? So I'm looking up that burn part right now. And that burn part means um, set on fire. It means light. It means consume. It means to kindle. All right. So it means something gets kindled. Um, something gets ignited in us when he talks with us. You know, something gets ignited. You know, when you kindle something, you ignite something. Um, we're still on the same scripture. We're still on Luke 24, verse 32. We're getting all of this revelation just from this one scripture. Luke chapter 24, verse 32. And so I want us to begin to... Um, no, this, this is the scripture that we've been doing the whole time. We've been doing Luke 24, 32 today. And we did it all yesterday as well. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, I just thank you right now um, for the burning, for the igniting. All right. I want us to begin to speak to the Lord and say, um, no, no, no. Joshua 1 verse 8 is the, is the scripture about meditation. Um, oh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, John 1 verse 4. John 1 verse 4. That's what it was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. OK. Yeah. John 1 verse 4. I'm sorry about that. So I want us right now before we get off. We're going to um, basically make a decree. And it says, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us, by the way. And we're going to ask the Lord now to ignite our hearts, Lord, by speaking to us. OK, that's what we're going to ask him. Different forms of the heart burning. All right. Lord. Ignite our hearts when you speak to us. Speak to us, Lord, that our hearts may be ignited. Hmm. Speak to us, Lord, that our hearts may begin to burn with passion. Speak to us, Lord, that our hearts may begin to burn with zeal for you. See, we're just connecting the scripture. This is the scripture. Remember, when he talked to them, their hearts burned inside of them. We want the same thing. We want our hearts to burn in us when the Lord speaks to us. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be dull to his voice. Mm, we want to come alive. Oh, Lord God, speak to us that we may come alive. Speak to us, Lord, and cause our hearts to come alive for you. Ah, Lord, cause our hearts to come alive for you. Oh, Lord, cause our hearts to be ignited for you when you speak to us. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, our hearts burn within us. Our heart burns within us. Let's do some muttering right now. We're going to repeat that part. Our heart burns within us. Our heart burns within us. Let's just repeat that. We're going to say it slow, okay? Luke 24, 32. Our heart burns within us. Oh, yeah, that's good, B.J. Housley. Yes, Lord, let your word be seared Oof, in my heart. Your heart burn. My heart burns within us. Let our hearts burn within us. Let our hearts burn within us when you talk to us, by the way. Let our hearts burn within us when you talk to us, by the way. Let our hearts burn within us 
when you talk to us by the way. Ah, when you talk to us by the way. When you talk to us by the way. Oh Lord, lead us to the way that our hearts will burn when we hear you, Lord. Lord, where are you standing at? Where is the way? Oh, lead us to that way, God. Cause our hearts to burn within us. Cause our hearts to burn within us as we talk to you by the way. Cause our hearts to burn within us as we talk to you by the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Make it impossible for us to ignore you when you talk to us. That was good. Whoever just put that up. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Draw our hearts to you, Lord, as you talk to us by the way. Mm. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm gonna um I'm about to get off. I want to release a prayer um before we get off. All right. Um Dr. Calicia, I honestly I'm trying to remember what I played last night. I honestly don't even uh, remember um, what I played yesterday. Honestly, I'm trying. Oh, I remember what I played. It's called. Um, you know what? I don't even remember of the the name of the of the person who that is. I have found it. It's a group. They're called the Awakening. I think. And I think the name of the song is the Ascension. Something like that or ascending. Um, but I, oh my gosh, okay, definitely pray for you. But I don't remember, I have to look it up, Dr. Calicia, and find out the name of that song, okay? But I'm going to do that. I need to find out the names of some of these. Um, so we want to release that prayer for Shay Yi um, before she leaves. And I'm telling you now, um, later on uh, this evening, I'm going to come on at 9 30. Um, and then not um, same times tomorrow. But I really feel, you know, since we've been meditating on this, um, I want to give you all a tip of one way that you know that you can hear God is we know that we hear him through scriptures. And so after we're doing this meditating and you begin to read scripture or maybe listen, you know, a lot of times I'll listen as I'm moving around doing stuff. And when you start hearing certain words popping out all the time, that's the Lord speaking that particular word to you and wanting you to go deeper into that word. He wants to connect with you through that word. And so the word that I have been hearing a lot today, I'm talking about a lot, is I've been hearing um, the word trust. I'm talking about you all. That thing has been jumping out. All right. And I even got it in an email this morning from a daily word in the email. After I'd already been hearing it a lot through scriptures, the word trust, 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 trust. And he was really dealing with me about my heart trusting in him. You know what I mean? Really trusting. And so I really um, we're going to go into some scriptures about trust, because as we're going inside of the heart, the foundation of everything, when we really get to the most intimate place in our heart, it's trust. Trust is 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 rooted in the most intimate place of our heart. This is why we don't trust everybody. You know what I mean? Because it's such an intimate place you're letting somebody into. You're trusting them with 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 everything. And the Lord is not only after our hearts, but we've been going deeper in a lot of these things. You know, we, he's been leading us into going deeper inside of our hearts. And so now I really feel him leading us into this trust. Um, this trust area and so we're going to really begin to deal with uh with trust um starting this evening we're going to meditate on scriptures of trust trust has to do with um it deals with fear um um 
I mean, it's a lot trust deals with, like, for real. Just, but just the core of our relationship, faith, you know, uh, we could go on and on and on. We have to trust God. So that's what we're going to do later on this evening. And um, I even got a scripture, if I can uh, pull it up right now. Um, Psalms 28, verse 7. That's what we're going to do later on. So even if you can't, but you just feel like meditating on some tr on a trust scripture, this is a good one. We're going to it says the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. And that part we're going to we're going to go in on is my heart trusted in him and I am helped. All right. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. All right. So you might even want to meditate on that on your own. You know, your heart trust in him. What, you know what I mean? And I am helped. We could be confident in the fact we are helped when our heart trusts in him. Hallelujah. He will not allow us to be put to shame. Amen. So I bless everyone. Father, I loose the blessings of the Lord over each and every single person on this that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. And Father, I pray that your voice will be released in our lives, Lord God, that will ignite our heart in such a way, Lord God, that we will go forward and do the things that which you have called for us to do. But Lord, I even ask that your voice, we will hear you in such a way that we will be so ignited and stirred to seek you like never before. Lord, release your voice in our life that will cause a deeper depth of intimacy with you. Lord, may we begin to hear you in ways that we have never heard you before. Lord, may we be more intimate with you in ways that we have never been intimate before. Father, we pray for a fresh release of intimacy. Cause our hearts to burn within us as we talk to you by the way. Lord, I pray that we would not be like the two disciples who had to take so long, Lord God, before they finally recognized who you were. But Lord, I pray that we will begin to instantly recognize you instantly recognize your voice father when you speak instantly lord let our spirits begin to recognize you in the name of jesus god mm. speak to us lord our hearts are hungry for you yes hallelujah thank you lord the voice of the lord is powerful in Jesus' name we pray amen all right. God bless everybody. I'll see you all at 930. Oh, I'm sorry. And let me um, pray for that person who just lost their grandmother. Father, we lose blessings for, the, for them right now. By the way, you all, we just figured out this thing we can do together to pray together as well as prophesy together. We're going to pray together. So right now I'm asking you, all of us can hear the Lord, right? Um, we're asking the Lord. Our hearts are open. He's talking to us, by the way. So as I begin to start praying, whatever you hear, I want you to put that on the screen and I'm going to incorporate all that in the prayer. We're going to pray that together for her. OK, so, Father, I pray that you will keep our sister in perfect peace as her mind is stayed on you. We pray for peace for her and her family. We pray for comfort for Shayi and her family. Lord God, I pray for peace and comfort even in their finances. For Lord God, you know that when it comes to people passing away, Lord, it's, it's something that costs, you know, uh, costs money. Money. And so I'm praying now that there will be a unity in the family, Lord, as there is a coming together on behalf of the grandmother. Lord, let generational blessings be released. Let healing be released in areas, Lord God, where generational curses once reigned. Lord, we bind them in the name of Jesus. We lose healing and we lose love in the name of Jesus, God, as she rests in you. And we pray for salvation that, Lord, that those who don't know you, I pray that even through the grandmother's passing in some kind of way it will bring somebody in the family to salvation lord we pray for unity lord let every single spirit of division lord god be broken let strife and division be bound in the name of jesus lord that will try to bring any discord in our family in Jesus' name lord god no strife no strife no strife we rebuke it in the name of jesus we lose the love of god we lose the peace of god lord even let shai's voice be seasoned with salt that she will 
will know how to answer each and every single person. Lord, we pray for strength, Lord God. Strength, that's, Lord, that you would comfort them during this time of mourning right now. Lord, I pray that they would mourn in a healthy way and not a demonic way. For you said there is a time to mourn. So we pray, Lord, for angels to be released, to comfort them, to strengthen them, to feed them, Lord. We lose great comfort and great peace to the mind and to the hearts of the families right now. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we bless them, Lord. Hallelujah. And let every need be met. Hallelujah. I thank you that you weep with those that are weeping right now. So we ask that they will lay their burdens down right now. Hallelujah. And take up your burden in this hour. And we pray for the anointing to destroy every single yoke of heaviness. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you all so much. That was great. I love it when we all come together. We all come together. This is like, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, we, we released that. We released that peace on them. Yep. Amen. Amen. Oh, man, that is fun. <laughs> all right, you all. I got to go. Um, but I'll see you all this evening, okay? At 930, if you can get on, please do. Um, I would come on earlier, but, you know, we have service, you know, and I have to respect that all day, you know. And so um, 930, and if you can't catch the replay, we're going to go in on a heart trust, the trust of the heart, the trust in the heart. Ooh, that's probably going to, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Cut up some things. God bless you all. God bless you on your grind right on. All right. <laughs> yes, please do this all day. That's what the Lord tells us to do. Meditate on this word day and night. Amen. So meditate. You can do this all day. No, I'm not going to scope from church. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all. All right. Bye bye. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.